everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very exciting vlog. So today I am actually off to Paris. It is currently, what is the time? It is 20 to 2 on Sunday the 19th of February. And last night I was actually at London Fashion Week. I went to an Opoly show which was so much fun. I'll put a picture of my look up here. I was obsessed with my look. I did my own hair and then Danny did my makeup and I just loved the finished product so much. Like I didn't really know what my hair was going to look like having it like that because I've never done that before. But I feel like I've always tried something different because it was fashion week and I loved it. So now it is the next day and I'm actually off to Paris today. Me and Tanisha are going to Paris for three nights, four days, but because we're going to get there really late tonight, we basically just have three days. But yeah, we're going to Paris. Tomorrow we're actually spending the entire day at Disneyland, which I just cannot wait for. I Honestly, it was really weird because I was thinking to myself a couple of weeks ago, really want to go back to Disney. And then Tanisha messaged me like, do you want to go to Paris for my birthday? So I was like, um, yeah. Obviously, like I'm obviously not going to turn down a trip to Paris. And then for her birthday, I actually booked us to go to Disney. So yeah, very excited about that. And then the next day, we're just going to spend kind of exploring, having like looking around Paris, going to like the Tower, all the classic touristy bits. And then we actually do have pretty much a full day on the day we travel home because we don't travel home until I think about half past six. So yeah, that is the plan. I actually don't know what hotel we're staying in because Tanisha has booked it. So that's going to be a surprise when I get there. But we're getting the Eurostar. Tanisha's actually getting to St Pancras in about an hour. And 40 minutes so I'm currently sat in Ellen Cafe and I got a jug of the juice and then I bought something in here as well. Come and sat in here and I'm going to sit and do some work, maybe catch up on our Sutton Love Island episode even though it was just the unseen bit but I feel like that will make an hour go really really fast and yeah other than that I will see you when we are about to go to Paris. We just got to Paris, welcome to Paris, and we're trying to lug our suitcases through the metro station, but they're so beyond heavy, and we have these last two sets to do until we're out of the station. <laughs> yeah, we've done loads already. Ready? Oh God, I'm gonna bash it on every, oh sh This is the non-glamorous side of Paris. Oh my God. We checked in, and there is McDonald's next to our hotel. You literally cannot write this. Anita didn't tell me until we were on the Eurostar, and I was like, you're kidding and they have a big tasty this menu is ridiculous like there is so many bits on it like look at this mcwrap with goat's cheese petite wrap little wrap mcchicken that royal cheese how is there this much stuff i'm not gonna do what i really want to do a full tasting video not gonna have time but oh my god i want to come back to paris just to try the full mcdonald's menu i'm not proud that our first meal in paris is mcdonald's but it's quick and easy because it's right next door um yeah to be fair it's my choice but we're gonna eat this go to bed so i'll see you guys tomorrow for a day at disney everyone it is officially day one of paris and we are starting this vlog in, in the disneyland sun. in the sun <laughs> as well it's so warm well i'm saying it's so warm it's seven degrees which is a lot warmer than i thought it was going to be it's going to go up to 14 but we're here bright and early it is 10:09, so we got here like 40 minutes after it opened and we're spending the day at disney parks this is my present for tanisha for her birthday Thank and you. i feel like this is like the best <laughs> present ever i'm so we're about to walk up main street where we're going to see the castle and yeah we're literally going to have the best at disney we got tickets for both the parks we can go over to the hollywood studios one as well and we got fast passes oh wow, my god i can't believe we're actually here again we're back like i never left oh it feels so good to be back the last time i was here was when i was here with mum and atticus we're about to walk around the corner this is tanisha's first time seeing the disney castle she's like peeking around the corner where it's <laughs> First stop of the day is getting Disney ears, but we don't know what ones to get. So they have these ones, which are actually quite cute to be fair. I might get those ones. They've got the classic ones. They've got glittery classic ones. Oh, they have plain black ones as well. These Yoda ones are so cute, but I don't think they're really gonna match my outfit. I just wanna try the ears on before I buy them. I think you should um, oh, change those your outfit really as cute. well. What is this though? What's the big label about? I don't know, but I think you're a great Disney outfit. Do you know what's the color in the hair? Nice. Okay. Yellow is definitely your color. When I come to Disney, you know, I actually wore this when I was a kid. I actually <laughs> have this dress. <laughs> this is a look. I really like these, but I need to get this off because this is very strange. I'm going to get these. I have bought my ears and I've got the tag cut off. How cute are these? I feel like they match my outfit perfectly. And they have a cute little Disney castle in the middle, which I didn't realize. <laughs> Birthday girl's got her ears. <laughs> They're so cute. 
They're so cute. We are at the castle. We're about to get our Disney pictures in front of the castle. I feel like we have to do it, so I will pop them up on screen. And you can also follow my Instagram if you want to see me post them. Okay, we are in Adventureland. We have officially got all of our photos in front of the castle, which was so cute. We found this cute little spot, which is perfect for photos. And by the way, right, so I didn't know this existed at Disney. I only saw it because of TikTok. So I feel like people gatekeep it a little bit because nobody posts about it. But there's a like a thing under the castle. I can't remember the name of it, but when we go there later, dragon I'll show you. Like it. It's like a dragon. And they have the dragon from Maleficent like underneath the Disneyland castle. And I've been here so many times and had no idea that it's here because it's not really signposted. We were about to walk in it and then they actually shut it, yeah. which is really annoying. Now but I've seen it. It's quite now, now I know it's there and I know what it is. I'm like, how have I ever missed that? But before, I've just never gone down there because I didn't think you could. So later I will show you that, which is so cool because I love Maleficent and so does Mama Nascus. mum at Disney but I don't think she can hear me. Hello. Oh, that's a cute angle. Hello. <laughs> Hello. She can't hear me. We just went on Big Thunder Mountain. No, we didn't. What did we just go on? The uh, runaway wine train. That was a nice little like taster ride to the day. Mum's calling me back because I haven't been on a ride for so long. Can you hear me, Mum? Hello. Yay. Mum, I'm at Disney. Hello. Can you see me now? I'm at Disney. I froze. Yeah, all right, bye. Anyway, we went to um, Runaway Mine Train. That was so fun. And now we're going to go on my favourite ride. And it's so tame. It's so silly that I love it. But the Haunted Mansion. I love that film. And going on the ride is so, like, nostalgic. Here is the Haunted Mansion. Like I said, this is my favourite ride at Disney. <laughs> upside down but it just says prepare for oh gosh intense shaking i can confirm sanisha did not get whiplash it was actually only one loop which was actually really tame i was expecting it to just go like round and round and round but we are now going to pirates of the, next place. Pirates of the caribbean pirates of the caribbean It is lunchtime and we have come for Mickey shaped pizza. How cute is this? I saw someone post on Instagram about it. So we decided to hunt it down and we got a pepperoni one. So cute. Yeah, it's proper cheesy, isn't it? We got a little We have just come outside of the restaurant and we are now gonna go under the castle where the dragon is. So the castle's here, and if you go to the left down here, you walk through here. <gasps> so excited! La Cania the dragon. Now we're going on my second favorite ride, which is Hyperspace Mountain. This is one of the best roller coasters that they have at Disneyland. It's so much fun. We are getting ready to go on, I think it's called Autopia, where you drive the cars. And in Florida, Atticus loved this. So I'm letting birthday girl to need to drive this time. I didn't think you could crash on these 
I know we just took because they were all in traffic, but now we are in traffic and we crashed. <laughs> We have now made it to the Walt Disney Studios park and the first one is Crush's Coaster. I feel like in this park they're more like roller coasters but I've been on this before and I remember it being so fun. We have come out of Crush's Coaster. It was so much fun. And now I just got a crepe from one of the, it's like a Christmas market sort of thing. We're in uh, the Ratatouille area now. We are smashing through the ride today. We have just done the Ratatouille ride, which was so good. The floors are like magnets. Like I can't explain it, but it was just incredible. And now we are doing the Cars tour, which we've never done before. It looks like it's gonna be some sort of studio tour, but all the Cars theme oh, we're gonna get. We just come off of the Cars tour and I said I'd never been on it before because I genuinely believed that I hadn't been on that ride before. But when I was younger, when I was five or six, my mum and my nan actually brought me to Disneyland. Well, my nan actually brought me. And we went on this ride and all I remember is my mum nearly falling out of it and scream like crying and my nan like hysterically laughing at her. But we've never been able to figure out what ride, no, like, I don't know what ride it was until I just went on it. I looked at it and a full memory just like unlocked in my head. I was like, it's this ride. And I said, Cisha, I know exactly what's going to happen. Fire's going to come out, water's going to come out two seconds later that happens and the cart starts tipping and I nearly fell like mum did do you know when it just like I don't know just really sweet like a full memory unlocked I didn't even know existed just resurfaced we just come out of the spider-man um, game and oh my god basically we knew it was a shooting game right so we were like oh but there'll be like the laser guns like there was on the toy story one and then we got on the cart and there was nothing and we were like oh okay and then everyone was like moving their arms like pushing them forward like this no no like what spider-man like, so, yeah like spider-man and we were with everyone like oh they're just getting really into it not realizing until we saw the people next to us score going up that you actually have to move your arms to be able to shoot like it somehow like picks it up anyway i feel like i've done a full-on workout after that my arms are killing me but now we've got two more fast passes left we've got avengers which i've got no idea what this ride is and then a hollywood tarot who won you were waiting the whole time to be like but, but who won she won because she had a head start no by like 0.2 seconds i said she'll let anna use start. her hands <laughs> Look at me and Tanisha on front row. Look at Tanisha's face. That was so good though. We just come out of the Avengers roller coaster and I was screaming for my life. Like genuinely, I didn't realize it was a roller coaster. I thought it was a really tame ride. And yeah, it went round. Like it was, went upside down, it went round. Uh, and when we took off, I had two tears like shoot down my face and like fly off me because I was trying not to laugh. And then Tanisha was just dead silent the whole time. Like I didn't hear one scream, one word, one nothing. So I kept turning around to try and look at her like, are you still there? Like, are you awake? My soul just left my body. Her soul just left her body. And then she, I was like, you're right. She was like, yeah, I meditated the whole way. And she was just, just counting like one, two, three, yeah, just to try and take her mind off of it. Breathe, two, three, four. Breathe, two, three. Would I do that on an Avengers roller coaster? Probably not. But we've got our last um, fast pass now, and it is the Tower of Terror. We've just come out of Tower of Terror. My God. I mean, I've done it several times before, but every time you do it, you forget how good it actually is. Although, right, so I read online that you don't actually drop, which would make sense because the seat belts that you have on are not, not like seat not seat belty for the drop that you do. But then I don't understand because we went all the way up and you can see over the park. But either way, it is like the best. I think it's one of the best rides. Disney. If you come here, you need to do Tara Tara. We have come to the City Walk for dinner, um, and we've come to Annette's, and I have just spotted they have something on here called the Onion Burger, which is burger, cheese, onion rings, grilled onions, red onion, and Annette sauce. If that is not me in a burger, I don't know what is. Here's our dinner. I went for the Onion Burger, and so did Tanisha, and we got a salad that looks like a mountain salad. This looks so good. Look at all the onion. We have come out of the restaurant, and I may have just fallen into the gift shop, and I bought myself a mini Nala. If you guys watch 
watched my Florida vlogs from last year, you would see that I actually bought myself the big one. Um, and I sleep with it every night. And basically, I had this mini one from when me, Mum, and Atticus came to Disneyland the first time I surprised them. And then I actually gave it away when I went on CBBC Saturday mashup. So I thought it was only right that I replaced it. And I got myself a cute little one to put on my chair next to my big one at home. We invite you to dream bigger, smile wider, and laugh louder. Together, let's make the future brighter than ever. everyone it is day two in Paris we are up I would say bright and early but we slept in a little bit because we were shattered from yesterday but we have come to a cute little cafe on the corner near the Louvre and we have got some breakfast we both got avocado and salmon on toast we got some eggs not entirely sure what sort of eggs they are but they look interesting we're gonna give them a go and we got some bread but this looks amazing we have now finished breakfast that was 10 out of 10 I have got big food baby currently growing and we are now at the Louvre and we're gonna take some pictures which is fun it's so busy today but the weather is like perfect Paris weather oh and also so excited basically I'm a massive Emily in Paris fan and I've wanted to come to Paris and look for all like the hot spots and like Gabriel's restaurant and her apartment and the office building for so long and Tanisha is a huge Emily in Paris fan so we're gonna go there today we're gonna see how many spots we can find and I didn't actually realize you can go to Gabriel's restaurant for yeah. a drink well you can go for dinner there's no way we're gonna be able to get a dinner reservation now we're gonna try fingers crossed sort of some birthday luck it's my birthday yeah <laughs> Tanisha's birthday by the way. So we're just doing birthday things today. Birthday girl trip to Paris. But yeah, we're gonna get some pictures and then go find some Emily in Paris hotspots. Here's the Louvre in all of its glory. I have never actually been inside the Louvre and I've never seen the Mona Lisa. We're not actually gonna go in today, but next time I come to Paris, I'm definitely gonna go in because I really, really, really wanna see the painting. We are currently in Le Cafe Mali, which is the cafe next to the Louvre. And because we have just eaten, we didn't get any food, but we got a glass of rose, so cheers. cheers. Happy birthday. We are currently walking to Emily and Paris's um, office, Savoir, which is so exciting. We're two minutes away. And this area of Paris is beautiful. It's so quiet. And we really want to get a crepe because not only is it Tanisha's birthday today, it's also pancake day, which we didn't actually realize. So we want to find somewhere where we can get like a cute crepe. And we were just walking up the street and they have loads of, oh my God, look how beautiful the street is. I want to move to Paris. I love it here. Yeah, we just walked past loads of like little crepe stalls. Like I can't explain what they're like. I'll film it when we go and get one, but they're like shops, but you can't go in them. They're just like little stores built in. They're so beautiful. Oh my God, we just walk in to um, the offices and Tisha just grabbed me and went, oh my God. I was like, what? And that's Gabriel's restaurant. So it literally is right around the corner from the offices, which means her apartment blocks that. Which means she didn't lie and she does walk to she work. She does walk to work. <laughs> oh my God, that means that's her apartment block. Right, basically, I accidentally gave Tanisha the address to her office. No, to her apartment, which would make sense why we're at her apartment. Oh, wait, I thought that was her apartment building. It's actually that one here. But then we're going to go to the offices. That was Google's mistake, not mine. However, we're here. I can't, this doesn't feel real. I'm a massive Emily in Paris fan. I cannot believe I'm actually stood here right now. Here is her apartment block. There's so many people out here getting pictures. This does not feel real. I have so many questions. Like, does somebody actually live in there? If they do, they're so lucky, but oh my not? gosh. Shall we not? Go on, go on. It's my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. I want to go inside the Emily in Paris apartment. We're about to walk up to Gabriel's restaurant, but this is where they had the dinner party. Like Gabriel, Camille, Emily. If you've seen Emily in Paris, you're going to know what I'm all about. And here is the restaurant. Now, the thing is it doesn't actually look overly busy so we're going to attempt to get a table tonight oh i really want to eat in here i can't believe we're here that was so much easier than i thought it was going to be we just walked in and he was like oh i'm so sorry we're closed we were like are we able to get a dinner reservation and we've got one for half past nine tonight so we're eating in gabriel's restaurant and we're going to get all dressed up tonight we're going to go to the eiffel tower for photos before and then we're going to come here i feel like this is literally the perfect paris trip like you could not write this oh, i just can't believe It's got a colour in it. This 
is so good. I wish we had little prep stores like this in Manchester. And we have arrived at the Eiffel Tower. We actually just went to Notre Dame and got a drink outside there. And then we just got the Metro to the Eiffel Tower. Right now we're right by it, but we're actually gonna walk a little bit away and sit in the park, I think, and get another drink or go to another cafe. It is a little bit later and we are actually about to head out for dinner. I have got two hair clips in my hair, which are gonna come out of my hair. But whilst we're on at the Metro, I don't want it to like blow about or anything. So I've just kept it clipped down and I've got a sleek little bun. And then I'm wearing this gorge long black dress, which is from Opoly, and we are going to the Eiffel Tower to take some pictures in the evening with it all sparkling. Well, it only sparkles for five minutes, so I don't know whether we're gonna be able to get the sparkles, but we're gonna get some nighttime Eiffel Tower pictures, and then we are going to Gabriel's restaurant from Emily in Paris for dinner, which I'm still so excited for, and it's an Italian, which means we can get pasta. We are out, and we have arrived at the Eiffel Tower. I will pop the address on to the exact place that we are at, because we were Googling like best places to get Eiffel Tower pictures at night, and this is the one that we Googled, and I would genuinely say this is the best one just because the river's in the front and it just reflects so beautifully and we have got five minutes until it is going to sparkle so we're going to sit here we're going to watch it and just wait for it to come on but how beautiful is this it's obviously impressive in the day but at night it is just oh it, yeah it's just incredible Finally, we have stopped off at another restaurant to get some dessert before we head home. We got some chocolate crepes, well, Nutella crepes because it's pancake day, and two glasses of wine. Good morning, everyone. It is day three, or day four, kind of, of our Paris trip. And this morning, we have come to, I'm gonna try and say it right, Champs Elysees, which is the big um, shopping strip in Paris where all of the designer shops are. And behind me is the biggest Dior I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, how is it that big? But we are, well, it's our last day in Paris today, so we're just gonna shop around. I think we're going to go down to Sephora. I love a little Sephora trip. If you guys watch my America haul, you see that I spent way too much in there. And I'm probably going to end up doing the exact same today because TikTok makes you want to buy everything that Sephora sells. But yeah, we're going to have a little shop around, get some lunch. We had some lunch, actually. I'll overlay the clip here. Well, it was all like a brunch, but I had a chicken Caesar salad and Tanisha had a steak. And it was so affordable and so nice. Like, genuinely, probably the nicest chicken Caesar salad I've ever had because it was crispy chicken. But yeah, we're going to head to Sephora. So to the right is the Dior shop, which is huge. And then you've got the Louis Vuitton and look at like the person they've got on top. I remember seeing this on TikTok, but it's massive, like absolutely massive in real life. I feel like the camera's not really doing it justice, but wow. The store looks insane. We're definitely gonna go and have a look in there. First stop of the day, we have come to Zara and even though they don't have the green jacket, I found the viral jacket bit in black and it's a cropped one and I've tried it on and I'm so happy, I'm gonna buy it. We've just popped into McDonald's to pick up some macaroons to take home. And on the side, it says Emily in Paris. I think it's because they were doing like a whole McDonald's themed episode in the series and how cool we need to both just saw it and went oh my god Emily in Paris but look at these I know Paris. we get so excited but they do so much nice stuff here like this doesn't look like McDonald's whatsoever but it's macaroons I think they've got four different flavors but I'm gonna get maybe I'll get one of each I mean that'll be good just to put it into perspective a box of six macaroons is five euros or one macaroon on its own is one euro fifty and they do vanilla cranberry brownie or strawberry I've just spotted it at the back it says production season three Emily in Paris. Oh my god. Maybe. Maybe they did. We didn't see this, any of it. I think they maybe come to this one. That is so cool. We are currently at the Arc de Triomphe, but we have just been into the McDonald's. Like I said, there was an Emily in Paris, and we just watched the scene back. I'm gonna put the scene here, if I can, of when they were trying the McBaguette in that exact McDonald's, and I didn't realize McDonald's actually did a limited edition Emily in Paris meal, which I'm gutted. I never got to try, because obviously it was only in France, but I had no idea they were doing it. But anyway, I have shopped out. I have bought a few things that I will do you guys a haul when I get back, and now we are gonna hop back onto the Metro, maybe make a 
stop off on the way at a different cathedral that we haven't seen yet and then we're actually going home tonight which is really sad i don't want to leave paris even like even though we've been here for three nights four days it doesn't feel like we've been here for long enough i don't want to go home it is the next day and i am back from paris i don't remember what the last clip was i think the last clip i filmed i was on the champs lycee outside the arc de triomphe and then we actually got the Eurostar home and i got home last night at half past three in the morning and i don't really know how that happened because the car journey from london to manchester is meant to be like three and a half hours ish and my Eurostar got in at 9 30 so somehow it took six hours for me to get home and i fell asleep in the car and the driver woke me up and i was like oh my god what like what's the time and i saw it was 3 30 and i was like oh, 3 30 how is it half three in the morning right now but anyway i'm home and i wanted to end off this vlog by doing you guys a little haul of the few things that i picked up whilst i was in paris i really didn't buy much at all i'm trying to stop myself from buying unneed like stuff that i don't need anymore so i only picked up a couple of things the first thing though is this leather jacket which i've wanted for the longest time it is the zara cropped leather jacket and i went into zara yesterday and i saw that they had it and i was like i need to get it because it is always always out of stock and i know that everyone's got the kind of like washed green one but as much as i actually really would like that one i think i prefer the black one just for me because i wear a lot of clothes that match with black whereas i don't know how much the green one would match with everything if i can find it i definitely will get it because it's 50 pounds and i think it's such a good quality jacket for 50 pounds but when i saw this in zara yesterday i was like i need to pick that up so this is my new fave jacket that i've got on so i picked up that and then i went into sephora and i just picked up two things that i've wanted to try for a while that they didn't have in the new york sephora and this is the way fine hair shampoo and conditioner again i've seen a lot of people using this and apparently it's really really good the only thing is i wouldn't necessarily say my hair is fine i think i have very very thick hair but it's the only one they had and i really wanted to try it so i will try this and let you guys know how i get on with it then i actually picked up a mini nala when i was in disney like i already explained i actually gave my one away for when i went on saturday mashup and i really missed having a little one so i got a little one again from disney and yeah got a baby nala to go with my big one then i actually just picked up i feel like you have to they're everywhere i picked up a little golden eiffel tower because when i was in new york i got a white statue of liberty so i was like okay if i get a little gold eiffel tower i can kind of pop them around my apartment and it won't look too almost tacky i guess but it's still like a nice little memory of going there so i got one and i also got a another one to give to my nan because i know my nan is gonna love this and i just noticed it says paris down there and i swear i just saw oh yeah wait does that one say yeah it's paris here oh that's so cute i didn't realize that when i bought that yesterday um and these were only two euros each and then finally i really said i didn't pick up much i got some macaroons from mcdonald's so these are actually ones that i bought for myself and i've already eaten two out of the box and then i got a box for my nan and pam as well so i'm gonna give them those tonight so i was actually well i'm gonna end this vlog here but basically i was gonna vlog going to center parks this weekend because i am driving home today to go and stay with my nan and then we all go into center parks for the weekend it was my christmas present that i got for them and i was gonna vlog it but i haven't had a holiday with my nan where i haven't taken out the camera since i was a child and i really just want to spend some time with my family this weekend and just come off my phone come off social media and just live in the moment and play games and go on walks and have conversations and just yeah basically not film it so i have decided i'm not going to film it i also am probably going to get a lot of questions if i do because obviously i will post like a recap on instagram as why my mum isn't there because my mum was meant to be there with atticus however my mum has unfortunately tested positive for covid she tested positive for it on was it monday or tuesday i can't remember it was it was one of the days and it's thursday and she's still positive so unfortunately my mum and atticus can no longer come which is really sad i was so upset about it when my mum told me because it was the first holiday that we were all going to go on forever we've never all done a holiday just us six but there will hopefully be other times that we get to do that so it is just going to be me my nan our best friend pam and my uncle chris but yeah i am beyond excited so i will post a little like recap of the weekend on my instagram so make sure you guys go and follow me over on there but i'm going to finish the vlog here because i'm actually about to repack my suitcase and then i'm actually going to start to drive home and head to my nan's i need to go do a big food shop for the weekend for center park so i need to leave fairly soon but thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed this paris vlog honestly paris was so much fun it was tanisha's birthday trip and we always do a little trip for her birthday just like we did one to dubai last year and it was just amazing the day at disney the day exploring paris it was just so much fun so yeah i really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye